Over the last two years of Mass Roulette, I have dismantled my cards after every single episode, and that's why I have so much dust on this account, which you guys have noticed a number of times. Now that Mass Roulette is over, we are going to be building a deck that uses 75 random URs. Not quite random though, because actually you guys submitted over 1,000 different URs that you wanted me to play. We're gonna build a deck using 75 of these 1,000 random URs, and then we're going to end enter the ranked mode and see if we can get some wins. Of course, I am on the roulette account, so I'm in rookie, so maybe we have a better chance at getting wins, but uh, we'll just have to find out. So without further ado, let's build the deck. All right. 325, 325, 325, we have. Great, excellent first pick. You're finished. Okay, so first card, unplayable. You love to see it. 468, um, the Wicked Avatar or Light and Darkness Dragon. So those are both URs. That one is not actually, so we're putting Lad into the deck. That's good, I really wanted that one instead of the Wicked Avatar. Um, 600, Waking the, D oh, oh, okay. Wind condition spotted, Waking the Dragon is crazy. Uh, 339. Ah, isn't this the uh, the rock, paper, scissors cards? Transmission gear. During damage calc, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, play rock, paper, scissors with your opponent. Make the lose. I mean, that's hilarious. Yo, whatever I want. Yeah, let's do lightning storm. I think that's pretty strong. All right, we're about halfway through the deck. It's not looking too bad. I'm kind of surprised at how many duplicates we have. We have two waking the dragon, which is probably one of our better cards. Three maxi is hilarious, two lad, you know, that might lock down our opponents. And honestly, like half of these extra deck cards are not terrible. And the number 101 into Zeus is hilarious. Definitely want to pull more normal summonable monsters because right now we just have two. Not great. So let's try to pull more monsters. 595. Okay, thank God. A lot of people gave me Pankratops and it is at three in Master Duel now, so that would definitely be one that we are trying to high roll multiple times. Oh, thank God, a normal summon monster. Let's go. Is this really an ultra? Okay, okay. 60, that's a pretty low number. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a good one. All right, here's our deck. We got uh, 46 cards right now. It's, um, it's looking rough. We still only have a couple summonable monsters, but, um, we really need some more to actually have a playable strategy. At the moment, it kind of seems like Waking the Dragon is our win condition because we have a lot of good targets for it, but um, crossing my fingers, hoping the next uh, 14 cards give us some normal summonable monsters. 961. Oh, okay, that's a good card. Getting a little, okay, okay, hold. Second BLS, that's not bad. Okay, okay, let's, you guys are gonna be very excited. Check this out, it's, it's really good. All right, here's the deck. We have about 10 normal summonable monsters, which I guess is fine in our 60 card deck. We do have some engines. A lot of duplicates were pulled. You know, we got three Waking the Dragon, three Transmission Gear, overpowered card, and we have our uh, really strong Yujo Friendship engine here. We have three copies of Friendship, two copies of Unity. Thanks so much for putting those cards on the list, you guys. It really means a lot to me. We do have like, extra deck monsters. I think Revolution Synchron for Clearwing is probably our best play in the entire deck besides 101 for Zeus. But um, I I don't know. We want to draw Pankratops. We want to draw Fenrir. And uh, outside of that, not so sure. Grass with BLS is probably our best combo. Um, we are going to batch generate live to see if we get... I mean, I, I think we'll get at least one Royal Rare, right? Probably 1% chance, 75 cards. Gambler's Fallacy, let's go. Batch generate. Royal Lad, that's pretty cool. I think it's the only Royal though. Okay, let's duel some ranked people. See how it goes. No mats, that's good. No extra deck. 37, okay, wait, we have a chance. I mean, this hand doesn't do anything, so maybe not. What does this one do? Oh, we bricked on it. This card has to be drawn <laughs> when we don't. Oh boy, okay. Card of Fate, um, what does this one do? 
Each player chooses one card from their deck, and then each player combines it with four additional random cards chosen from their deck by their opponent. The Ramly Six one of those five. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. What is this? I've never seen this card in my life. Unplayable. Got it. Ooh, we got Senju. Okay, so this is um, Extra Deckless Demise. Looks like we got a friend joining us today. Um, okay. Not super threatening. Let's draw. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, sorry. Holy shit. Oh my god, a, a summonable monster. We did it. Okay, okay. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to activate Card of Fate. That's crazy. That's actually like probably one of the best cards. If we could get any card in our entire collection, probably Pankratops, honestly. Let's do Pankratops. So then I, I'm, I wish I could be in the head of this person picking the four random cards. Okay, watch this. Check this out. Pankratops, right there. Wait, what? Okay, I guess I didn't understand how that card worked. Okay, let's summon our one monster. Okay, no um, response to that, which is good. I think they might have just hard bricked. You know, surprising in their 42 card deck. I mean, what am I doing? I can't make fun of them for breaking. I mean, what the fuck is my deck, right? We'll set this. We're going to intimidate him a little bit. We're going to set the uh, Runic Fountain. Maybe he'll pop it or something. I don't know. Luckily, if he can't ritual summon, none of these cards matter. Okay, let's see what we can get. Unplayable. Perfect. Oh, there's just like not enough summonable monsters in this deck. I know like it might be a little surprising, all things considered, but can you imagine if someone gave us a cash tier of Theosis so we could go unicorn to Theosis into Fenrir? That would actually be incredible. Let's set this. You know what? We're just going to intimidate him a little bit. We got a set field spell. I mean, that. If I see a set field spell on my opponent's side of the field, I mean, what do I even think it is? What could it possibly be? Gear Town? What did he add first? Did he add a ritual spell with Senju? I can't remember. Senju can only grab... Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. We're actually getting fucked here. How much attack does the queen have? Let's... Okay. Hold. Okay, so his hand must be Ruin, which, by the way, doesn't even out our board. And then um, the ritual spell in hand. So he actually doesn't have enough... Uh... Holy shit! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's happening. We can win this one. Absolutely, we can win this one. Okay, here we go. We are not going to Book of Moon. We want the damage. This also makes our Unity playable, which... You fucker. Yeah, I mean, I can't stop that. So, I mean, it's a little fucked up that you would do that to me, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it was a cool draw while we had it. It was, it was you know... Tis better to have drawn snow and see it banished than to never have drawn snow at all. Unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. But it's like, how do we do... We just need to wait for him to like eventually... I like that this card is just not getting any value, by the way, because it's no extra deck, but... <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I think we get rid of the Citadel. Doesn't really matter. send unity uh i'm not gonna send the power of friendship to the graveyard get out of here man no way we're doing that what if we draw yujo friendship we'll need the unity okay sick so this person is using like a starter deck not quite a start i mean it, but x it's funny that this card i mean i'm just making fun of someone that's like brand new but um in a 42 card deck i feel like that card should not make the cut i feel like from here yeah i feel like we do summon lad i mean it i think this secures the game it's royal rare so we can't out it i think we got this one in the bag first game should have discarded the christia because then the lad could have brought it back right holy shit 1-0 1-0 we did it 75 ur is broken Um, oh god, are we going first? Ooh, rough. Uh, maybe they'll activate a draw spell. That'd be pretty strong. Uh, the thing about Kurikara is that in our deck, it's kind of hard to force them to activate things, so I'm not really sure realistically if we'll be able to use that. It's possible that... Are you fucking with me, dude? Imagine if that was Waking the Dragon. We would have instantly won the game. Oh, yeah, we lost. Yeah, yeah, we lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does he already have red, yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we'll sit here and watch it. You know, you never know. <laughs> All right. 
Welp, that went about as expected. Yeah. Wait, we lost and ranked up? Huh? Wow! Oh my god. Run it? Well, I mean, what does this really even accomplish? I don't know. Sending snow would be great. I think that's a, the main hit. Um, missed it. Yeah, missed the snow. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's summon Unicorn in defense. I mean, I guess this could work, right? 10 effects? That's not too... It's cards and or effects. Hmm. Maybe we can, like, call the Gravekeeper's Trap right next turn. We got a five card extra deck, so maybe that's kind of saving us here. Okay, okay, wait, hold. I can't, I can't believe we drew this unicorn again. Okay, Fairy Tail Snow off top. <gasps> okay, okay, hold, wait. Um, Surely we have, oh yeah, we got targets. Oh boy, okay. I'm a little bit afraid of a Mirror Force card, but it is very appealing. We'd get 12, 3, 42, 67 damage in. That seems really strong. Let's go for it. Please don't have the jelly cannon. I'm going to banish a light in the... Oh, wait. Huh? <laughs> Ball! I mean, that actually, like, saves him. Maybe we should just banish it then, you know, just in case he's actually playing Heratics. I don't know. We can't kill him anymore. Well, we couldn't kill him either way, but... Can't believe he just balled... All right, fair play. Okay, dude. I mean, we don't have a light or dark to banish anymore. The Diabell Star was the only dark in Grave. Um, let's see what we can take out here. See if he is just playing Heratics or Blue Eyes. Ooh, it's the Dragon Maid deck. So I think if we banish, um, yeah, let's hit the let's hit the sealed. I don't think he's gonna be able to get to the um, the guy, the gal, the dragon, the it. Okay, let's flip up Grave Keeper's Trap. I think we are simply calling chamber dragon mate how does this card even work by the way what options does it give us okay okay check this out watch this okay not really good because it seems like they don't have a dragon maid their hand is ball they got a tidy in the grave with no targets this banishes it this card's really bad yeah banishes that target it doesn't even tribute it okay Okay, okay, chill, chill, wait, that's good. That means if he outs the unicorn, God, we get to rip another card, that's nuts, actually. Come on, unicorn, so much value out of this against a dragon made opponent. Um, I think now we hit the uh, the shoe, uh, excuse me? Oh, sure, yeah, whatever, add your shitty assault wyvern to your hand. So yeah, I think we hit the shoe right there. Hit him for 25. I, I almost wanna say this is in the bag. I, you know, I almost want to say that just because we can call, we know his hand right now. It's like three unplayable cards. We're going to hit the chamber right off the top. Check this out. Oh, oh, that actually really sucks. That's really rough. Luckily, when he activates the effect, we will be able to take out the other fusion in the extra deck. So the only cards that he'll have left are Queen Dragon Jin and some card that was so bad, I don't even remember it. Yep. Yes, kind of, kind of awkward. All right, take that out. I mean, I think that just like kills him, right? We'll take it. Kind of wanted him to out the unicorn though a little bit. What? Are, what's happening then? Phase is this like go back to hand or something? That just like did nothing. Oh shit! Oh shit! Transmission gear. Um, that can definitely help us. Well, we're just gonna rip every single extra deck monster. That's actually really funny. Should have shown up with 15 cards. Sorry, bro. Let's see. Target one dragon monster you control and activate one of these effects from the hand. Add one dragon made card from your deck to your hand. Um, okay. Yeah, honestly, not bad. Okay. This time, we're going to hit the chamber dragon made. I'm really feeling it. 33 cards in deck. We've called it three times. You know, maybe Gravekeeper's Trap is not as bad as I thought. Ooh, Gabeb. I feel like Farfa really likes Gabeb. Dragon Maids don't serve a master. They live in a commune and serve each other. Okay. Well, there goes your extra deck. See you later. Lorpar. Okay. What are we calling? What are we calling? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Um, I feel like paper is good. I feel like paper is pretty strong because rock is the first option. 
So we're gonna go paper. Fuck! I didn't know they had an animation. That's incredible. Oh, we're actually kind of losing this now. I feel like we've lost the initiative. Should have gone for that attack, considering that he's at 3,000 life points right now. What? I mean, that, that doesn't even matter, right? Oh, they're so close to being dead. This is actually... Uh, yeah, this is actually not good. Um... We can't even try to... I swear to God, if they draw the Chamber Dragon Maid after all this, the one turn I can't activate Gravekeeper's Chat. Nurse Dragon Maid. Okay, what does this one do? Nothing. Yeah, this can't even summon any of the... Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think that um, Parlor was definitely the better one. Yeah, I've clicked buttons before too, I'm going to be honest. So I can't even make fun of that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that is a card. That's definitely one of the better cards in our deck, for sure. And we're pretty safe here because we know that they don't have a level 7 Dragon Maid. Yeah, let's do Unity for zero defense. I'm surprised this even lets you activate it um, if you only have one monster. I guess because it's the combined original. Let's go main phase 2. This time, we're going to hit the chamber. I bet. It's it's just going to happen. Check this out. This is what? Our fourth time? Our fifth time trying to call chamber? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Chamber. 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 Okay. Well, that card sucks, so that's fine. We can just pop this. This, this like, puts us both in a position where we just have bricks. Like, all of us. Because even if he chains the downtime here... Like, he doesn't get to summon still. Oh, if we just draw any normal summonable monster. Like, there's eight level four monsters in the deck right now. I feel like we could really draw one of those. Oh, look. Pretty much the exact opposite of a normal summonable monster. Oh, man. Okay, so I think the position... I mean, this is going to be the chamber hit right here, by the way. Check this out. One of these days... Huh? Look at this little guy. We put him in a position where if he summons a single monster, we can probably pank for victory. Okay, so if they don't immediately downtime before the turn ends, we win. We won! Oh my god. We're crazy. Right. Are you ca One turn too late. Wait, this is fine, right? I think we still win now because we can pank the whatever. We can just pank the kitchen. I think we have it. Holy shit. Okay. I think we got it. 15 turns later. No, I think we just have it, right? Because, like, what are they going to do? Chain the downtime? That's fine. Holy shit. We got it. We're 2 1. We are actually popping off right now. Holy shit. This deck's crazy. I think we kind of want to see what they're cooking with a little bit before committing. Like, I don't think Candina Pass actually accomplishes anything there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. GG go next. Let's see what they got. Ooh, you know, I don't like seeing 40 card decks. Oh, but I do like seeing 52 card decks. Spoke too soon. You know, card of fate is probably better when the cards are good in your deck. I bet. Oh, no summons. Okay. A set, though. No one would play 52 cards, right? Without being, like, insane. <gasps> We're actually cracked. Um, please stop eating the headphones. I just told a story about that. What are you doing? It's his biggest kryptonite for sure. Oh, yikes. Don't have Stormforth, please. Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Um, that actually is pretty cool for us because now we have cards to banish with the Fenrir effect. That was just like free. We're going to save the card of fate until we actually need... Like, we haven't bricked right now, and it seems like he has bricked. Um, 
So, oh wait. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, whatever we banish, they can technically get back eventually. Here, let's set the snake grain as a little, little gag, a little goof. Seems fine by me. That's like a deck that, I think it's one of the many decks that when modern players look back, okay, dude, okay, sure, I see how you play. Why did he set that? This is a deck that could only function because Ash was not in the game. You know, there's a lot of decks like that. Okay, I mean, that wasn't pantheism, so it could have been a lot worse. Still not doing anything, so it could have been a lot worse. I mean, we're actually kind of popping off a little bit. I think we have to hold the, oh, perfect. Really good. Why is it an extra deck Monarch deck though? That's the real question. And also with Monarchs, you know, I, I think 52 cards is not actually the play. Oh, I just accidentally misclicked. Well, now we can't, <laughs> I don't know. Whoopsies, misclicked on the uh, the unicorn effect. Cat looks so pissed that he couldn't eat the cord. Oh shit, okay. Um, yeah. Although, yeah, okay, he has a Monarch, sure. A little Unicorn, maybe we can hit, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I'm just curious what's in here. Well, this is just wrong. This is, I mean, this is just wrong. Like, why would you play this? Okay. What's the most powerful card in this extra deck? I would probably say, I would probably go with, honestly, the only card that he might use is this one. I was gonna make like a joke and hit one of the elemental hero fusions, but. That's actually really the only one that would get used, potentially. Oh, I think we may have lost. Well, okay, hear me out. What if we transmission gear and win the battle, right? They've used their normal summon. They don't really have anything going on besides Prime Monarch potentially um, drawing a card. So we transmission gear, you know, one of these, and then we draw Pancratops, and then... Okay, why are we doing this? Just for funsies? Wait, no way is shuffling back... <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, you put back that uh, that Pantheism. Who needs it? Not sure about that one, Chief. Here we go. I think we're still calling paper, unless that's not the play. Cause maybe they think that paper is the play. So then that would mean that rock is the play. Because if they think paper is the play, then they would go scissors. I, th I think it's what happened last time is that like they knew I was gonna go paper, but I can't betray paper. Paper all the way, here we go. Oh. No redo? Oh, okay, okay. You'd have to be a madman to pick paper twice. So he he's gonna go rock, thinking I'm gonna go scissors, because he's thinking that I'm that he's thinking that I'm thinking that he's gonna go paper twice. So he's gonna go rock. Let's go! Get fucked! Alright, this guy's gonna die immediately and then I probably lose, but at least we got one on him. The thing is, he's actually like killed all of his card advantage here. Now that like the, he's banished the uh, Eidos for no reason. He's not been able to use the Idea effect. I'm totally pronouncing these really weird. Um, that goes back to hand, even if he had, I mean, unless it's like exactly escalation. Oh, fuck, this deck's so fucking bad. Yeah, I mean, we gotta, we gotta have fate on our side, I think today. Let's think about this. Here we go. Snow, right here. I'm cr I'm just I'm just crazy. Okay, he's pretty crazy too. We probably lost. Um, certainly a possibility that we didn't. Um, no, we're not gonna do that. Let's hit that. It kind of sucks that we do the ultimate slayer in like the one matchup where it doesn't do anything, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh god, the pain. Do we know the cards in hand? Oh, it's the um, it's this guy, right? The Mega Monarch. Well, unless um. Oh, he had two of those. Right. Sure. That's not good for us. This is really bad, actually. This might be game. Um, the snow is going to get banished here. Which is clearly not ideal. But maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. You never know. Maybe he'll just, uh, you know, Zaborg us. Probably not, though. Yeah. 
quite unfortunate, I would say. I'm trying to think what we can even draw at this point. Probably nothing, but at least he hasn't activated the Pantheism yet. <laughs> why did I say that? Why did I why did I even speak that into existence? Who would do such a thing? You live and you learn, huh? Um No fucking way What are you doing? Does this does he know? Does he know that it has a graveyard effect? I mean, Panker Tops wouldn't really help. I mean, it would help, but I don't know. Seems like he's like so far ahead at this point because he has the Underworld Squire loaded in Grave. But I believe in the power of friendship, so maybe we can Unity? Uh, I mean, maybe he'll... Lightning Storm? Is that even a card that... I mean, you can't activate it for, like, multiple reasons. But I don't even... Do board wipes get affected by this? I know that, like, draws... It's Mystical Ref Panel is um, one of the weirdest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Who really knows what it does? Not me. Probably should just be um, removed from the game. It's one of those cards that is written like a magic card that they used to do back in the day. Like, uh, Wobaku. Which, you know, I, I pronounce it Wobaku. But... I don't know why that matters. Um, it's one of those cards that when they printed it, the people that printed it like thought this was Magic the Gathering rules. Because I think in Mystical Ref Panel's case, I think in Magic, spells do target the like do target the player. Please stop being the cord. You just kill me, bro. Oh well. Um, two three, right? Two three happens. We'll get him on the next one. That's fine. It was a hard fought game. We got the fairy tale snow off the card. I mean, once we were doing card of fate, it, we were way too fine. Okay. Pass. Whoops. Pass. This is what you like to see, right? Another 40. Why do so many people play 42 card decks in this rank? Okay, this hand's actually crazy. Imagine if we had one Cosmo to search for this farm girl. That would be incredible. Um, let's go pink. There he is. Rawr. He's kind of the Mr. Beast pose. And then I think I'll hold the Candina as a little surprise for later. What do we got? Oh, the classic Blue Eyes deck. Very popular in these lower ranks for sure. How are the random URs decided? We had a Excel document um, where people could submit cards they wanted me to play, and there were a thousand submissions, and then we randomly pulled 75. <gasps> Are we just, is he just dead? 41? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's that easy. It's, oh, it's, it's so fucking over. Wow. This guy bricked. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, dude, I don't think you can stay up here. You're, you're literally biting it so hard that i'm trying to pull him off and he's like hanging on for dear life i'm trying to get a win right here it's like a, i don't have a co-host for this show except for the cat but he's really making a ruckus i'll tell you that much okay that was like super easy our decks cracked um three three let's go <laughs> holy shit we're crazy Holy shit, we drew... Look at this hand. Fenrir BLS Grass? I mean, I don't think I could ask for a better... <gasps> MBT. I'm ready to fight him. Um, okay, so what does this deck end on? Like, in a gate and a towers? I bet that's no problem for our Blackluster Soldier strategy. A few moments later. Maybe we have a chance. 86... 99% <laughs> of play... Okay, that doesn't do anything, but that's fine. So we have to play around Wave. So I think what we're going to do is special Fenrir. <laughs> Was that a, a Bubble Reef in the Maxi draw? Are you kidding me, man? All right, let's activate this and just see if they do anything. Okay, they didn't. They didn't. Unfortunate. I, I can't believe you just fucking Maxied me. Um, Fenrir, go, go, go. Dude, you're about to actually get kicked out of the office. Wait, come on, come on. stop, stop, stop. Uh, yeah, 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 Marin says wave. 
It's it's like there's a, a a mission going on, a side mission going on where the I'm trying to stop the cat from electrifying himself. Like, dude, like really stop, stop. No, let go, let go. You're like. Uh, okay, so now. <laughs> Wow, we can make a 9,000 defense card, by the way. Maybe that's our win condition. Um, okay, let's go Lady, so that if he activates another trap, we can... Oh, I should have set the... I should have set the friendship. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, let's go BLS. This just kind of sucks, right? Because we can't... Um... I don't know. I'm sure we can do... I mean, we can clear the board but does that really accomplish anything? <laughs> I mean, we're clearing the, oh, this, sorry, I couldn't even see that. We're clearing the board, but um, at what cost? Let's go BLS. Let's banish this. It's unaffected or something. Oh, because of the wave, the wave. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> why can't this attack? Oh, because I use the effect, duh. Yeah, this is probably uh, a wrap. Are you kidding me? Ice barrier. You're gonna ice barrier me. Okay, dude, you can. Mar yeah, sure, sure. Hit the hit the thing. This one is not winnable, unfortunately. Three four, right? Three four. Yeah, that's not that's not great for us. Mm -mm. Like we could run over the spirit dragon, but we I think it's going to be very difficult to keep up with the azure eyes. Um, but maybe not. Okay, hold. I get Fenrir chain link one because I'm a turn player, and azure eyes would be chain link two, but it. I think Azurai says they can't be targeted, but by that point, I'll have already targeted it. Let's find out right here together. Yeah. Oh my God, that's perfect. We're cooking. I mean, if that was his whole play, then we're crazy. Um, let's do a little Fenrir effect. Get that in our hand. You know, the unicorns. I can't believe we keep drawing these, like, the four good cards in our deck, the special summonable monsters. Um, you know, I, I'd consider the, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to set this for a little laugh, make him think we have something, and then set this up. The thing about Fenrir is that uh, it's it's just a good enough card to win games on its own. Yeah, I've seen people, like, have fake keyboards for their cats before. Not a bad idea. I don't have desk space for it, but. Okay. This is where it's like a little bit hard because we can't really develop our board. Um, oh, that's actually kind of shit. Well, maybe he'll hit the, um, that we actually could be outplaying him right here because if he, what is that one called? White dragon or something. If he banishes awaking the dragon, with the, the guy that is often summoned with the white stone. We could just like lock him out of the game right there, right then and there. Yep, oh my God, oh my God, it's gonna happen. Okay, check this out, chat. He's gonna hit the new one. How would you not hit the new one, right? <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's, it's never been so over. It is so over. It is never, this is it. We are so back. <laughs> Dex too good. Dex too good. Um, okay, so I think Baron is just, yeah, Baron's just like the best choice by far. So let's go Baron. Probably should have played around the Relinquished Anima column because uh, that's like a pretty popular card in Blue Eyes. Baron is just too broken. These are like two crazy cards on the board right now, even in real Yu-Gi-Oh. We want to stay where we can use our negates. Oh my God, we're crazy. 4-4, four, four, right? 4-4. Four, four? How is this deck winning? Unplayable. Crusadia um, sleeves. Maybe, I don't know. 
Do people really play Crusadia? Probably not. Okay, good sign. They bricked two. Nice. Okay. Um, you know what I want to see? The cash tiras. Okay. Win condition spotted. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do about it? Got negate? Yeah, it would really be nice if they could activate just a clean draw spell right here. Just something that we could hit with the ref panel would be wonderful. But I'm um, not really sure how it's going to go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 18 more turns. Not too bad. Um, I don't think there's any reason to keep this in hand, so I think we just set it as a bluff. Like, there is Diabell Star. I think it's, like, the one card that requires you to have a card in hand. But also, like, we just have a bunch of garbage. Can't summon the Plasma. Can't use the My Friend Pearly. So we might as well just, like... You never know. Maybe the two set makes him not want to... Oh, my gosh. What? Imagine if he just never summons a monster. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. That's just what I needed. I think we're putting him in a spot where... We make him think we have cards face down. Also, I just realized that on our first turn, we should have entered the battle phase to trick him into thinking we had evenly matched. To see if he would flip anything face up. Six cards in hand. Oh my gosh. Wait, we're doing it. I mean, 14 more turns is a lot of turns, I'm going to be honest. Oh? Well, at least we can kind of figure out what he's playing and what he's bricking on. Not this turn, but the next turn. New players hate evenly matched. That's like one of the most complained about cards that I see, which is weird because I actually think evenly matched is like, it's been a net positive for the game. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Holy shit, holy shit. Wait, what is happening here? He has to discard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a handful of hand traps. Okay, transmission gear, sure. Do we leave, maybe this was the problem with setting these cards, is that like, do we leave these open now? Probably not, I think we set transmission gear. Um, yeah, we'll flip this face up. What are we even calling? We have no idea what he's playing. I mean, we can just like try to hit a Crusadia monster. I think that's like unlikely that he's using the sleeves for the deck that he's playing, but it's not like zero. Um, so in that case, I think we'd hit Maximus. I just want to see what he's playing. He is playing Crusadias. Um, unfortunate that we missed. Leonis, if he has, you know, two Crusadias in hand, we are just dead. But that's fine. Although we don't have a monster on the board. So... What? Um, okay, that doesn't really do anything. It's like a 500 boost. This one doesn't really do anything either right here. It's just going to be... The problem is just going to be that, like, he's going to end on a... Uh, okay, that's that's pretty good, yeah. He's going to end on the, uh, the big guy, which I forgot the name of. And that can have a negate for a face-up card. And also, while it can't do a ton of damage here because we don't have any monsters to, like, boost it a ton. Oh, this can... Oh, shit. Um, it's entirely possible that we are dead. I don't know, though. I think you have to have a monster on board. Because this only does double damage against monsters. What is this Crusadia deck? It kind of looks like a solo mode deck. Um, once again, I mean, more than 40 cards, naturally. It is 42. No, it's not 42, actually. Wait, it is 42, right? Because this is a Magius engrave? Yeah, I mean, it's 4,100. Yeah, I mean, it's 6,100. Imagine if we called Leonis, right? Like... <laughs> oh, I'm at 6,000! Final countdown pays 2,000. <laughs> well... Happens. This has to be the craziest hand the deck can draw. Check this out. We got Fenrir for Unicorn. Summon the Gold Pride. 
And we are, in fact, hard making the Baron here. How are you opening so well every duel? It's kind of like that episode of 5Ds where Yusei builds a deck from all of the people in jail. And um, then he just draws, you know, good cards despite having, like, a pile of crap. I have no idea. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just call one and hit Backjack or something. Oh, it's Dark World. Oh, it's Cubic. Got him! Get fucked. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was Cubic Dark World. This actually probably isn't Dark World Cubic. It's... Oh, fuck. The thing is... Can't crash. Oh, wait. But also... He can't really out the Baron without just, like, hard crashing. So, maybe we're fine. Probably gonna try to crash with that. We're gonna negate it. Um, I'm gonna hit that. Yeah, because this, uh, yeah, original attack is 3,000 or less. Too bad, it, you know, it's not less than 3,000, in which case we could actually ban this. So, oh. What? You know, not familiar with the cubics, but I think I've just unleashed a bad thing for us. Oh. Oh, I can't attack either. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I needed right now. Wait, he's at 2,000. Can't we just, like, kill him with his own... Like, isn't he just actually dead? Or am I missing something here? Like, this is mandatory, right? So he'd have to get... Um, change the attack target to it. Uh, so if we chain this, then... I... I I don't know. I guess it'll still get the effect. But... Hmm. Our only goal right now is to survive until next... Or survive until his end phase, right? Maybe he'll link this off, you know, if he's thinking about it. But maybe he just won't. That's definitely a possibility. So let's set this. And you know what? Let's even set this. We're just going to make him... Unless flex on him a little, we're going to, you know, pop this. For no reason, just to, you know, maybe he'll activate something, even though it's negated. Why is he thinking? Like, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let him crash. Let's see what he has. I don't know. He'll probably just link it off and kill us with Axe's Code or some shit. But um, if he doesn't, we kind of have a chance. What does this keep asking me to do? Because it asks you twice. Oh, wait. Oh god. Oh no. I, I thought for a sec that this put it back as cost, but no, of course it doesn't. Oh my god, dude, no one is playing around waking the dragon. Uh oh, I mean if we draw that card, I think that we really could like win a lot more of these duels. Like everyone's just I mean you got it, right? You're just gonna pop back from Okay, yeah. Okay, that's gonna be kind of unnecessary, but maybe he is getting to an access code line. Oh, no way, no way, no way. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he has a link three. I think this is just done for damage or whatever. Although he is like minusing five to like stay alive here yeah yeah there it goes what are we making i haven't seen this guy in a while if he doesn't have anything to stop these attack i mean there's a cubic attack stopping card unfortunately but um technically if he doesn't have anything to stop these attacks we actually do win sure i don't know might as well looks like he doesn't have the um the big guy. Take out Axe's code. Why is Anaconda on that deck? Oh my god, we got it! Holy shit, we're crazy. 5-5. Five, five. Um, we got... Okay, an unplayable hand. Five card extra 
Uh, 40 card main, though. Probably blue eyes, if I take a guess. Oh, the other one, yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, that means he has to summon a Dark Magician, which means he would have to Special Summon, which means we get to draw a card. Why is Dark Magician T-posing in the back? I haven't seen that guy in a while. Um, yeah, not great for us. Sure. Electromagnetic Turtle? Um, that's kind of annoying. Okay, here we go. This draw is going to change everything. Okay, um, well, I guess we better start counting down. Certainly possible that, uh, oh yeah. So he doesn't have Dark Magician right now. He added Navigation, which uh, doesn't work unless he has Dark Magician. So he has a lot of cards that only work if he has Dark Magician. So just like that other time, we're gonna set the field spell, a little bit of Intimidation. We're gonna set the gear, we're gonna pass. Really sucks that we have the Super Volley. Really is. Huh? These uh, Magician Girl cards suck. Like, they should have been better. Chocolate Magician Girl did see a little bit of play. That one's definitely the best one, but all these other ones are just, like, terrible. I really thought the Max C would get us there, but uh, without them special summoning, it is just a brick, actually. <sighs> this is going to be so sad if we can't beat literally just attack with a thousand. Next turn, he's going to tribute summon the Dark Magician Girl, um, a little bit rough. Let's see what we got here. That is not gonna, wait, 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 wait. wait. Desperate times call for desperate wait. measures. I'll tell you that much. We can trigger the, the Curry Kara this way. Oh, and we get a Max C here. Oh. Oh, also, duh, we can't Max C, it's on the field. <laughs> Okay, we just have to do it, yeah. I mean, this is pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Come on, Curry Kara. Like, we are kind of putting them in a spot where they have to draw Dark Magician right now. I mean, that's not entirely true because, like, what are we going to do? We're not going to OTK them. But if they don't draw a Dark Magician here, I think they're at a pretty big disadvantage. With each turn, it gets more and more likely. <gasps> I mean, we can draw for Dark... Okay, Tribute Summon Girl. See, even that doesn't really do anything, though. The Field Spell needs Dark Magician on the field to summon Girl, not the other way around. Eternal Soul can't do anything with this. Check this out. Transmission Gear. Paper never fails. Let's go. Check this out. <gasps> okay. So just like last time, I think if you tie with Paper, you almost always go Rock next because you think that the other player is going to go Scissors. So check this out. It's that easy. It's that fucking... We're actually in such a good spot now. Pass. You don't have anything else. You already use your normal summon. You don't have Dark Magician. You've locked up your back row. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. This is not a drill. I think we can do this. 25? I think these are all just blanks face down. Imagine, like, drowning your fourth. Huh? Just a brick. I mean, literally just a brick. Uh, how do we feel about attacking with Max C? He's at 25. I don't think really attacking with Max C like accomplishes anything, but it is funny. Uh, main two. We're gonna set this just to you know trick him a little bit. Okay. Let's grab. I don't know. Probably this guy. Just like the biggest cards, and also like the Dark Magician type cards. So, kind of cutting him off. You know, maybe we'll just win with Final Countdown. He has to draw a Dark Magician. He can't even Dark Magical Circle into it because, oh my gosh. I think we're doing this. We're just so good. <laughs> I could actually tribute some of that. Probably actually the correct play, if I'm being honest. Um, just in case there's something face down that's gonna like fuck us here. Have any rank sevens? No. Okay. Battle phase. 25. Oh, that doesn't even matter. That's kind of a crazy card, though. Plus three, 75 URs is broken. I think that's what we've proven today. 
Really, I think we've proven today that Transmission Gear is a good card that should be played in Yu-Gi-Oh. We have it. Oh my gosh. We did it. 5-4, I am very happy with that record. We made it to silver. Wow, I mean, what a deck right there. Thank you to all the people that submitted cards for this. Uh, you guys submitted some real ass, but um, shout out to the people that put Pank and the Cash Tiras on there and Transmission Gear and Waking the Dragon. Whoever put those cards on there, you are my new best friend. I'll catch you guys later though. Next week, we got a new wheel spinning show, but I wanted to do this uh, as kind of like a break. But um, yeah, catch you guys later. Bye.